Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Dr. Barkis of Thermology Tutorials. So in this refraction series, I will be making very short videos on small topics which are most confusing or which are most frequently asked in exams and which are most frequently asked in your Viva OC, okay. So that you need not search the whole 20 minutes or 30 minutes video for some particular topic which you are searching for. So today we will discuss about the pinhole test. Pinhole test is most commonly asked three mark question as well as the viva question. Okay. So what is pinhole test? This is one of the tests which we do when we are assessing the vision and doing the refraction. Okay. So coming to the instrument, this is the pinhole what we use. So it is an opaque disc as you can see with a central opening or the hole. So the diameter of the central opening or the hole is around 1 to 2 millimeter. Ideal diameter is 1.42 millimeter. Okay. So what is the principle of test? Theoretically, actually when you place a pinhole like this, okay, only one particular ray from each point of the object will pass through this pinhole and is captured on the screen. So this is how the pinhole works theoretically. But the pinhole just allows an arrow pencil of rays to pass through it and form an image on the retina. It will cut off all the peripheral rays. Thereby, it will give a clear image compared to the previous one. The procedure. First, you check the visual acuity in both eyes, okay, separately. If you find that vision is less than 6.6 6 or the normal visual acuity, then you will place the pinhole in front of that particular eye, occluding the other eye, okay. Then, recheck the vision again. What you can conclude after doing the pinhole test? There are three possibilities. One is, there can be improvement in the vision, which indicates that there is refractive error, okay. Refractive errors up to four diopters, that is, hyperopia of plus 4 and myopia of minus 4 when you place the pinhole and do the test there will be improvement to up to 6.6 6, okay where there is more than 4 diopters then also there will be improvement in the vision but it need not improve up to the 6.6 6, okay but still there will be improvement in the vision the second scenario is there need not be any improvement in the vision that indicates that there is some organic pathology in the eye it can be media opacities like corneal opacity, lenticular opacity, vitreous hemorrhage or the retinal pathology and even it indicates that there can be neurological disorders affecting the optic nerve. The third scenario is there can be deterioration of the vision after you do the pinhole test. That indicates that there is some macular abnormality. Okay. So these are the three conclusions which you can draw after doing pinhole test. So what are the indications for pinhole test? First one is to differentiate whether the decreased vision of the patient is because of the refractive error or due to some other organic pathology or the neurological disorder. So you can confirm that whether the correction you have given or the patient is already using that is glasses is correct or still needs some improvement. So if you place the pinhole in front of the uh, correcting glasses or in front of the glasses and there is improvement in the pinhole, it indicates that you have to redo the refraction and give the correction again. The third is you can also use this pinhole test as a macular function test. So if there is improvement in the pinhole, it indicates that the macula is functioning well. So these are the indications for pinhole test. So this is everything about the pinhole test. So hope this video was useful. If you find my videos are useful to you, please do subscribe to my channel. Press the bell icon for further notification. Please do like and share my videos. Thank you so much.